Hello everyone, hi, good evening, how are you guys? Phoenixer, what's up, man? We're playing XCOM, Come Era Squad. Um, I have never played an XCOM game in my life. Um, and uh, it's already made a good first impression by just inherently being um, borderless windowed without messing up. So, you know, that's something. Plus points from a streamer for that. Um, yeah, so this should be fun. I've seen, I've only watched the game a little bit. Um, it looks cool. It looks fun. So let's see how this is going to go. Um, normal or story? For players familiar with tactical games, challenging but fair. Story for players new to tactical games or just want to experience the game's Recent narrative. Thank you for hey, thanks for the resub, Rampo, my man. 10 months. No, 10 months streak. 14 months total. Damn. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's do normal. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing great. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? Oh, Just no, sometimes. Open in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you. I'm sure you'll be able to use that Amy mode plenty of times today. Into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Unsub. Wish I could Cheeky one. Wait. For which side? Hi, Geneva. Exactly. Hello. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. Oh, you're still awake. <laughs> but they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Alright, we're going straight into a fight, apparently. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed the cap. To a hostage situation? Right. Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Right, so can I just, real quick, go to the options? No? No options? Okay. Trails of Cold Steel has been helping, but nearly snooze time. <laughs> yeah. You need sleep. You need sleep. No need to force it. Um, Chimera Squad begins every mission by setting up a breach point to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers that will be applied. Then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they'll enter the fight. Okay. But can I see... Wait, uh, no, can I get rid of the agent menu? Successful shots on enemies will crit. Okay. She looks like she has a gun. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, it's all just one point and three people. Yeah, Intruders okay. detected. Hey, thanks, Lois well, Geneva. Thank you. Okay, so we breach. Breach, breach, breach. Boom. Oh, Cycle through available targets with tab and left shift, then you select that ability with enter. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Response level alert. Alert enemies will use an ability at the end of the breach sequence. Okay, so can we then kill this guy so he doesn't do that? Thank you. Response level surprised. Uh, the surprised enemies receive a defense penalty and won't react during the breach sequence. Perfect. Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, blah, blah. History. Focus. Agents and enemies take their turns one at a time. Their current place in the turn order. 
<laughs> Thanks for the host, Phoenix. Um, their current place in the turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to the portrait on the timeline, which both update after each turn. Agents have two action points each turn to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for blue shield to move into cover for defensive bonuses before shooting, or move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit. Um, in classic XCOM games, you control the whole team in one round, and then enemy moves whole team, and then it's my turn again. But in this one, each agent has their own turn. Ah, okay. So they, uh, they toyed with the formula a little bit in this one. Um, so, if I now move within blue, then I can still attack, but if I move here within the yellow, then I am dashing and I can't attack. Is that how it works? It seems like that's how it might work. So what if I now go here? Maybe. Yeah, can I can I move? No? Ah, right click, okay. And then if I want to shoot this guy. Select an ability from the ability bar, open the shot HUD, enter. Fire weapon or overwatch. Overwatch is like um you uh you fire when an enemy enters your range, right? Something like that. So now, same as ambush in Wasteland 2. Yeah, I always forgot to use ambush, <laughs> but it, but that's it, right? You you um. Oh, actually, it says there, uh, Godmother takes a reaction shot at the first enemy to move within a cone of fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I just fire at this dude. In yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. Neutralizing. Missed me! Okay, so... Uh... 71% hit? That never happens in XCOM! Moving! Cover me! Go! And then, can I just wait? I have a 60% chance to hit. I guess we're gonna try. Well, if you shoot into the wall, that's not gonna, not gonna help a lot, is it? Okay, what if you just go here and then Overwatch? I'll cover you. All right. Sixty-one percent chance to hit. Let's try. Got him. All right, cool. You see this? Huh. Interesting. I need to turn on subtitles. Contact! Oh, hey. Clear. I like that guy. Verge? <sighs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. It was funny to watch devs play this. They did one mission where each successful knockout raises a chance to gain intel at the end of the mission. They failed one, so they only got 80% chance. Then they said they'll get that intel because the chance is so high. Ah, oh, but they failed. Oh, no. That sounds like a true XCOM moment, as far as I've heard. With how this game goes. Okay, multiple breach points on turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents entering from the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order, breach, the, order the breach points will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using the arrows. Alright. Agent damage likely. Closely wash, so enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Hmm. Last unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. Okay, so I'll... This guy has a shield, right? 
So maybe it's better to send him here? And then terminal is the one with the SMG. That's the one with the power. Now let's go like this. Yeah. And then terminal will get the plus three damage. Stay behind me. We shall move in. Even XCOM devs get X XCOM in this game. <laughs> XCOM doesn't uh, doesn't discriminate, apparently. Cover rush. What does that do? All right. Kill him, I guess. Crit. Okay, got two. Ah, f shit. Okay, so I missed one shot and took two damage. Alright. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. Most agents also have the Subdue ability, a non-lethal -lethal attack that is, that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards and for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the Charge Bash ability instead of Subdue. Right, okay. Okay, so actually, the fact that he has a shield didn't help at all in the <laughs> in the, in the breach. Found a better position! Because he doesn't, uh, you know. That didn't actually do anything. Kablam. Oh, we only took two damage. Not a big deal. Okay, so if I go here, can I now shoot around the corner to take a shot at the guy? Not sure about that. Scatter shot. 60% chance to hit, well... Hmm. Alright, well, you should absolutely be able to hit him from there. 96%, let's go. Got him. Alright. Good stuff. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. So that guy's like a demolitions expert. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I wanted to go to the settings, but yeah. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Alright. Wait, hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. Uh -oh. We need more than that. 3-1 PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough! This exhibit, it is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. <laughs> it doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! Making a path. Uh, doesn't sound very good, does it? 100% and he's surprised, so he should die here. Right? You too. 57%. Uh, can I shoot the other guy? Is that possible? No. 57%. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna cover rush with you. 65%? Yeah, I'm gonna cover rush as well. You're a nightingale. I'll protect you. I just had very low chance to hit those two. Exterminating. Cherub is down. Do okay. On it. Veg, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Agents that lose all their HP will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number of the timer. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with the stabilize ability or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. Alright, so... Um... How much chance would I have to hit anyone? Not really. I guess I stabilize. 
He doesn't come back to the fight then, does he? Probably not. With you, I feel like I'm gonna go here and just shoot this guy in the face. 84%. If you miss this, <laughs> imagine. All right. Oh, the cover broke. Oh, that's nice. Hate it when that happens. I guess I go over. here. Don't stray too far. Stupor? Psionically stuns a target for one to two actions and adds them to the neural network. You cannot target enemies in the neural network. And battle madness? Verge psionically attacks an enemy's mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Adds them to the neural network. Can I... no. Okay. Okay, okay. Noise. Yeah, you are very uh flank. Eliminating. Uh oh. Yeah. Just not even gonna not even gonna try to kill us, you're just gonna prioritize killing the hostage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Asshole. Ah, he didn't die. How nice. Gonna shoot again? Oh yeah, no, it's a new character. Alright, there we go. How's the chance to hit him? 64. 100% to hit him with the stun. So, let's do that. Oh, that's not where I wanted to... Put him. Want to put him here? Okay. I thought you were supposed to be stunned. I guess not. Did I miss something with the ability? Because I thought that guy was supposed to be stunned. Now. Got him though. Chera, are you still with us? Yeah, uh, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. <laughs> None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know, but right now you're the only ones I'm certain hmm. of fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. Rescue the civilian. Rating good. Oh. Huh. I guess I would have gotten better if uh, my Package people hadn't been injured. One PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's. No. Oh, it's bad luck. No. Uh Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the Reclamation Agency to the city. 
Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Hmm. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum. And its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 31 eh? PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. <laughs> Head over there. Supplies I'll surprisingly hold. reasonable boss. All right, now... First of all, now I can access options. Okay. Um, I want... Interface, maybe. Yeah, subtitles. There we go. Okay, cool. Complete Memorial Museum Aftermath situation in downtown. I guess that's Welcome all I have to, to do. City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that, not yet, but we can find out. 3-1 PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Hmm. The map is where we see the status of CD31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. A Camaro squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Right, okay. Two types of targets. Missions are tactical targets. The squad will go into combat on these. Situations are strate strategic targets. The squad takes care of these without entering combat. Current targets change every day, so watch the city carefully for new priorities. Okay. We already, already had a look at combat. Let's try the situation. Also looks like that's the only thing I can do at the moment. Okay. So is that... Is, is that something where I, I talk to them or something? Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Oh. There's a faction to be the investigation target. The target faction cannot be changed until it's resolved. Hmm. Okay. The progeny is a loose network of human scions. Their vision for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Grey Phoenix, an organization of alien scavengers. They've quietly amassed the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to recover. And I can't see the name of the last one. Sa sacred... Sacred something. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, what do we do? Preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. So, these guys are as anti-XCOM as it gets, pretty much. Try them, I guess. Sacred coil is what happens coil. when former Advent officers find religion. Or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids. As long as that path involves armed sedition. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? True. The reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. 
from those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. All right, cool. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork from this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations, hidden missions that must be revealed, then completed to knock out the faction's main plans. And takedown, stop their final attack and end their threat to CD31. Okay, so same sort of flow no matter which one you, uh, you choose. Alright, so I guess we just, uh, move on. Um... How do we do that? <laughs> assembly? Check it out. What's this? The headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns. But once we have them, we're good to go. Alright, so this is where you, you create equipment. Delirium is one of three resources Reclamation requires. It's spent to complete project in the assembly. Hey, Pi. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Hope you're having a very Pi day today. Okay, so... Android personnel is the only thing I can do. Uh, construct the Android OPS hub. This network allows us to use Androids on tactical missions and enables new assembly projects. Cool. I guess we'll do that. Ah, I can get a new recruit. The armor is where you manage your agents. Loadout, manage weapons, armor, and other items. Agent abilities, unlock new abilities by promoting agents that have earned enough XP. Agent biography, learn more about the agent's background. Tint armor, change colors on your agent's uniform. The director convinced hmm. the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can <laughs> bring more agents to City 31. Hey, it's pretty cool so far, yet. although I've only done the Something. initial mission. I've never, uh, I haven't done anything more than that. Now I'm in headquarters, I'm just kind of learning how everything works. Um... So, Patchwork has a little... little robot or something? Gremlin? Hmm. Okay, so you can so you can use like a chain lightning attack, which gets increased damage against robots. You can hack a door open at the start of the start of a breach. Gremlin scans the room, applying hollow targeting to all enemies. Increases the squad's aim by plus fifteen after, against marked enemies. One use permission. Okay. And this guy is precision shooting. Agent takes a shot with a fifteen percent aim penalty for a fifty percent damage boost. Standard pistol fire and dead eye constant action and do not automatically end the turn if agent has actions remaining. Lancer shot, agent fires his lancer pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. Oh hey, that sounds pretty good. This is like an explosive breach kind of guy. Agent throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. The explosive does not deal damage through cover and can be targeted to detonate it early. It does not end the turn if uses first action. I think we'll take Patchwork here. Um, well... As of right now, I get to choose one Patchwork. agent. Patchwork, when did you get in? Not so long ago. Um... What's wrong? I spec'd out a whole workshop for our field office. It seems like I can... In a warehouse while they choose the an agent... I'm sorry. I'll be fine. ...at regular intervals or something like that? to tinker. Pick any open floor space. There's so much of it. <laughs> okay. Um, assault rifle. Okay, I don't have any options. Uh, what about agent abilities? Agents earn XP on missions, which lead to promotions. Each new rank provides increased stats, and some unlock new abilities and new training programs. At certain levels, you have a choice between two abilities and decide which one you want. Cool. Alright. Right now, there seems to be pretty much nothing. Um, I saw uh, Baru play with Patchwork and uh, really, 
really had some OP shit at the end. Okay, so here... Ah! Okay, so here I get to choose who I want. Use Patchwork instead of Cherub and just try that out for a bit. Baru is crazy? He is. He has, he has, really has his own ability to just break games. Like, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, maybe my webcam is a little bit off here. Let's see how that works in a, in a fight. Critical mission. This mission must be completed today. Okay, so there's one thing we need to do. Investigate sacred coil. Cool. Credits are one of three resources Reclamation requires. They're spent in supply to both buy new items and upgrade existing ones. Alright, cool. Uh, one or more agent is idle. Actually, um, I can put you on assembly, right? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Cool, let's go. We are not the police. Huh. If you see a theft, call it into 3-1-PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. Okay. So... Wait. Uh, actually, Cherub, I think, is my breach dude, isn't he? But Patrick can hack the door, so... Yeah. I guess we still have a way to, to breach. Alright, let's see how this goes. Earlier this week, a security camera spotted sacred coil flunkies sniffing around this warehouse. Today, the silent alarm went off. The place is full of Advent Era contraband on the way to a tech vault. So we're stopping trespassers at a warehouse? It heavily armed trespassers. Better. At a forbidden warehouse. Interest officially peaked. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay, so what do we have? Um... Hmm. Not so sure about this. It seems like... Hmm. That would mean that I would, if I put someone here, that would mean that I would leave somebody alone at either here or here. Um, but here, blast unit through this entrance does plus three damage and is guaranteed to hit. Guaranteed to hit. Jesus. Um... Successful shots on enemies will crit. Last unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. I think I'll take you guys here. And you guys will go through here. Yeah. Let's do that. Breaching. Time to breach. Okay, so you can breach without a breach ability. These are androids? Okay, th this one's gonna die. Heard a Discord ping and you have 132 notifications. <laughs> Time to respond, I guess. 100% um, again, and he's also gonna die, so goodbye. Once permission, an agent can be moved on the timeline, so they take so they take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. Ah. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agents next turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when an agent is caught in a dangerous situation or to coordinate tactics. Okay. So... How would I use those, then? If I want to move someone... Okay, so you. Um, I'm not sure if I can get a good... Well, I could go here, I Shifting. suppose, and then just shoot him in the face. Let's do that. Alright, here we go. 
That's all? Yeah. All right, one more. Sacred Coil stole specialized mech parts. The kind you can't easily replicate. Advent used those mechs to sow terror. Sacred Coil may have similar plans. All right. Okay, so. Enemies are harder to hit. Well, and I guess we're not going there. Although, what does this mean? Does that mean how how protected you are? I guess uh, they probably explained that, but I didn't quite catch it then. Like, is, th is this how, how protected you are, and then uh, is lower better? Or is higher better? Probably not. Higher is probably better in that case. So here... I have a small chance of taking damage, but I ha also have a harder time hitting enemies. Um, first unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Last unit through this en entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Units can use run and gun ability on their first turn. Hmm. Hmm. I guess let's send you in here. We'll send you, and you, and then Patchwork goes here. I only want to send one through here if they are... Sesame. If they have a lower chance to hit. Hey, something! Good evening, my man, how are you? How you doing today? Alright, kill this guy. Or not. It said all his health was gonna be gone, but... The fact that it wasn't determined that was a lie. And dead. And dead. Or not. It said 100% and it said all its health was gonna be gone, but suppose not. Yeah. XCOM. Yep. Yep. Although, this game is a little lighter. A, a lighter take on XCOM, as far as I understand. On Let's right. dash up to the high ground here. Careful, you're exposed. Ah, they're trying to escape, huh? Yeah, how about you don't? 56. Chaining Jolt? Can I maybe... Yeah, 100%. Let's do that. <laughs> I mean, Geneva, would you complain if you did? Just saying. Crime self destruct? Uh oh. When Verge successfully casts Stupor or Battle Madness, the enemy is added to Verge's neural network. Verge gets ten, plus 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network. Ah. But he can't actually aim at the ones who are in the neural network, is how I understand it. On the way. Okay, so you'll shoot at somebody over there if they enter your cone. Safeguard. Terminal sends the gremlin to an ally to restore 4 HP, cleanse burning acid poison effects, grant 20 defense. Ah. Okay. Can I subdue you? <laughs> and it's still standing. Um. <laughs> something tells me that was a bad idea. Uh. Right. This is awkward. Well, you can go here and then take a shot, so maybe you can still hit? Potentially? 56%? Ah, uh, do Chaining Jolts easier. Zap. You didn't pick it up because strict turn-based order feels out of place. I suppose maybe if you're a... Uh, if you're a... Um, an experienced XCOM player, this is Don't different, maybe? Them in the warehouse. You're not here for me? Oh. Oh. 
I thought we were friends. Um, enemies deal minus one damage during the breach. But we're also... Ah, we're actually likely to take damage no matter what we do. All units entering here gets plus 25 defense for one round. But at least one person has to come through here. Okay, let's do... Patchwork and Verge maybe through here, and then enemies are harder to hit. Send... Actually, let's send Terminal here and Patchwork here. And then Godmother. Yeah, because Patchwork can do something else. Patchwork can send the robot instead of shooting, so maybe the the, uh, the hit penalty won't be as, as bad. Good evening, Lena. How are you, dude? Fifty-nine percent. Yeah, um, about that. I'm not about to do that in an XCOM game. That seems like a bad idea. Sixty-one percent. Fuck. Missed. Got XCOMed. Sixty-five percent. Sure. Got him. 100%. So I'm gonna kill this one, but the other one is gonna hit me. Yeah, that's three damage. Alright. Tried this yesterday and it crashed. Uh oh. That doesn't seem See very that, uh, reassuring. <laughs> You have better chances at 43 than at 80. <laughs> we are being followed. Shall I dispatch the Hey, Naruto Dragonborn, drones? thanks for the follow. Hello, hello. Didn't I see you earlier in a couple of streams? Or at least dollies. 85%. You better not miss. Well, you didn't miss, but you also didn't kill it. I was banking on you killing that, you know? Uh-oh. Okay, that was a bad play. Come back okay, yeah, that was a bad play. Uh, Battle Madness. How about you Battle Madness this dude? And then he starts shooting his friends. Ko said Baru crashed around the last mission. Uh-oh. And lost progress, or...? Terminal was killed? Oh. Because the explosion. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, okay, that was a fun turn of events. That was, um, Sacred coil is that was an interesting turn of events. In Alright, okay, let's try that again. Um... Enemies are harder to hit. Let's still send Patchwork here. Let's do the same setup as last time, time. but hopefully with a little bit more luck. <laughs> Alright, Phoenix, sir. Go do what you gotta. Okay, that's a hit. Can we maybe kill him? Okay, got one at least. Ah, this time you died. And flew through the window. Okay. Shrouded? Uh-oh. There's our target. Okay, so we're just gotta prevent them from escaping. Um, yeah, let's maybe have you run over here and heal your buddy over here. I 
I'm not sure. Okay, no, I wanted to send her to Godmother, but... I don't think I ever got an option to choose? Or I probably missed something. Time to break all the chat rules just because... <laughs> well, the mods were gone. Okay, so let's try Battle Madness on. on you. But I'm still here, so... Be nice. <laughs> What am I saying? Something's always nice. Okay, let's reprogram Overload you. If that works... If I can reprogram this to this one... Okay, it seems successful. Yeah, so maybe I can then... Oh, I can still shoot. Oh, okay. 56%, sure, why not? No reason not to. Ah, well, we hit. So is this the hacked one? Or is this it's the hacked one? Not sure. Um, okay. Can I hit that one? 77? Sure. Let's go. I haven't... I've never played an XCOM, no. But, this game... Since this game was on sale, I also... I also got XCOM 2 and War of the Chosen, because that was also on sale. They were all really cheap. The, the whole Getting the whole package was, was pretty cheap. I think... I think XCOM 2 was um, like 13 or 14 euros or something, where it's normally 50. And uh, the same for War of the Chosen, so I uh, decided to uh, decided to to get it. No, oh, no, 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 no! I did not mean to do that. No. Oh, I want to use the bot to. Uh... Okay, I, I need to figure out how that works. So this one is hacked, and I wanna, I wanna. Um... I want to use it to self-destruct near one of the other ones. XCOM games are always on sale nowadays. Oh, well, I guess I got lucky. Okay. We can go over here, trigger, trigger self-destruct, and kablam. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, oh, Geneva, you're gonna bonk something. Oof. Oh my. Take that somewhere else, please. This is a PG-13 stream. <laughs> the mod support make these games exceptional? Really? Ah. I don't think I've heard, about, heard of uh, XCOM mods. Well, like, what's, what kind of stuff can you do with mods, then? Except break all the rules when they're not here. Coil went after mechs. They need soldiers. But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. You can make them ban people, Find for example. Oh, right, 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 I see. I see. Oh, also, was my, uh, was my camera in, in the way there at, the, at any point? I forgot to check. With the with the the battle UI. Okay, um, investigation opened. I guess we uh, spec ops. I'm authorizing Chimera's spec ops are solo agent operations. duties that help Chimera squad and City 31 overall. They can improve unrest, gain resources, squad. or reward Keep temporary advantages on missions. Okay. So it's like, um, send your, uh, send your followers on missions kind of thing. You can do whatever you want, even tailor the game how you want. Hmm. Too many for you to list? Wow, okay. So it's like a, with a big, uh, 
big mod community then. Maybe I'll look into that before I play XCOM 2. Hey, Kadaves! Hi! You have constructed an android unit. These versatile soldiers are valuable backups to your main squad agents. On any mission where one of your agents is evacuated, an android can take their place for the remaining encounters. Ah, cool. How are you doing, Kadaves? Hope you're doing awesome. Okay, so I guess I don't have any additional parts for this thing. So, can I choose... A new one? No. I guess not. One is clothing your troops as stormtroopers. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Our temporary um, field office ooh, the XCOM supplies where you buy bases, all your core items and weapons, equipment. Items you unlock from assembly projects become permanently ammunition. available here too. Supply is where we request okay, so. everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Plus five to aim. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of each mission. Ah. And then we get more intel. Okay, but what are we doing with intel, though? Is it to, to speed up the investigation in this particular faction? Or um, have I not gotten to the point yet where I have intel? Or, yeah. Modular armor. Ah! Unlock the ability to mod weapons and armor. Okay, let's try weapons. Okay, so I currently don't have anyone to do spec ops unless I send Cherub there, which... Maybe that's better? Yeah, let's get some intel here. Although adding deal on combat grade androids. I know. Adding weapon Everyone mods and stuff like that them. sounds sweet too. I don't but. hate them. They're robot friends who can fill in on missions if we're too wounded to continue. Okay, everyone but Patchwork hates them. <laughs> As she says, they do have a purpose. Right, well, I don't think I'm gonna be needing that. Since it seemed like I already got one? Or did I just unlock them? I guess maybe I just unlocked them. Okay, let's get one then. Right, so now this is just gonna take two days instead of one. All right, I'm okay with that. There are a variety of kinds, a variety of kinds of mission targets. Investigation: these appear purple, whether a groundwork operation or takedown, and will advance the game story. Side: these appear yellow; they are optional but provide valuable rewards. Emergency: appear in red, showing up in district districts with unrest problems. There's a wasting disease affecting some hybrid populations worldwide. Hmm. It's known locally as the Fade. Sacred Coil claims they have a cure. Find out if there's any truth to these broadcasts. Right, so... Um, if I do side missions, are they then... Like, does it affect the main story? Or... Because it because it it advances one day, right? So does that then hidden faction target five days? So does that mean I need to do this mission within five days? Like if I do side missions, does it have any effect on story missions? Like at some point the story mission fails or uh, you can't do it anymore or hmm. Chimera oh. Squad, I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalid's ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. 31 PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, 
and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward <laughs> to working with you. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I was interested in the reward. It's a weapon mod called a targeting system. Hmm. Okay, Say a sure. hostile Let's force go. has access to a dangerous device, but destroying it would cause harm to you or others. In that case, finesse is the better option. Approach the device and disable it just as you were trained. All right. So, actually, indeed, we did have one android available. Now we have two. Well, I mean, that's not going to be a waste anyway, right? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hostiles guarding target device. Push through and disable. Breach mode. Okay. First unit through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. But it's very high likelihood of damage. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Last unit through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Ah, cool. I mean, this seems like a no-brainer, right? There's no... This one is... This is just a bad option. So, let's just send everyone through here. Now we even have two people who can hack the door. That's really nice. Then we can... Uh, we can still get through even if... Uh, yeah, then we can still get through the door even if we even if we we have several entrances that require breaching or uh, yeah require an ability to breach. Mm, it didn't go too well. Come on, kill him! Yeah. No, wait, no, that didn't kill him. Shit! Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Spotted the target. Shut it down. Okay. Godmother is marked. Huh. Alright. Uh well, I guess we get rid of this thing first. Easy. Prime self destruct. Uh oh. Wait, hold up. That is not cool. Um, maybe I can... Uh, yeah, let's try to get you if we can. Wait, no, I wanted to... I wanted to battle madness him. Now the hostage is dead. No, that's not what I wanted. No, we want to save the civilians, okay? That's not how this is going to go. Maybe it is actually... Maybe it is actually a better idea to send some through here? Okay. Sure. No, actually let's send... Verge through here. We'll send Patchwork and Terminal here. And then Terminal gets the Overwatch. Yeah, breach, sure. Breach, breach. We're going in. Alright, Geneva. Sleep well. Sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow in Dolly's stream, I'm assuming. Have a good sleep. Oh my. Ooh -hoo. Don't do something I wouldn't, kids. Alright, can we kill him? Yeah! Oh, we didn't even take damage. Sweet! Got you covered. Alright, cool. See that target? Turn it off. Scatter shot. Fires the short the shotgun into short range cone, damaging multiple targets. Costs two ammo though. Hmm. 
Nah, let's just take you down. And that's a crit. Oh, Geneva likes to act, uh, act like a grown-up, but in reality... Mm. <laughs> oh, that was easy. That went much better than last time. Can I just kind of reprogram you? Overloading target. You heard that? <laughs> Good night. Good night, Geneva. Blowing some fuses. Well done. Okay. Good. Is that all the enemies? I think so, right? Yeah. On the run. Don't stray too far. On the move. So, yeah, interact. There we go. And... No civilian casualties. Rating flawless. So we do it around here. Flawless gameplay.